Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we gonna check out top 3 best Wi-Fi routers. Starting at number 3. Linksys EA7500. Linksys, a long-renowned name in wireless products, has always been a worthy recommendation for reliable wireless home and office wireless routers. The routers are robust, secure and efficient, yet easy to configure by common users. We received a smart home router at our labs, and wondered if this one too can carry the same title as always. Let's head on for an in-depth review of the Linksys Maxstream AC1900 Mu MIMO Gigabit Router, the EA7500. The Linksys EA7500 is not a conventional router that you would need for simple wireless connectivity at home. It is feature-rich and can be configured to maximize its performance, while still being a very easy to set up and use by any common user. The EA7500 is a smart and powerful wireless router. A gateway controller for power users, this beautifully designed hulk is what gamers and smart home users should consider. Built with ABS plastic, the all-black and modestly designed EA7500 has a small footprint and a rugged exterior. It features a matte finished surface with a glossy center, on which you would find nothing but a white backlit Linksys logo that doubles up as a status indicator. The top consists of a perforated surface, which is designed to look good, while performing the task of ventilating the interior components. Grills available on the sides and bottom make up for a highly ventilated device that won't suffer from heatstroke, especially during that odd hour of browsing or required moment of your gaming. So keeping the router switched on 24x7 is no task for this little hulk. The router measures 257mm x 56mm x 184mm in size, and weighs around 558 grams. Being a chunky piece of hardware that needs to reside in the center of any given access place, the router features wall mounting on the bottom, so that you can raise it to the walls or ceilings for a better wireless network coverage. The business end of the router is on the rear panel. Three aesthetically designed removable antennas are featured along with four gigabit Ethernet ports, a WAN port, power jack and a power switch. Apart from these important basics, you will also see a reset and WPS switch, and two USB ports for connecting external storage drives. One port is a basic 2.0, while the second one is a 3.0 high-speed port for faster data access. The two ports are used for media streaming, FTP data transfer or sharing of data over the network, Sadly, the best place for the USB ports, WPS, etc., would have ideally been up front and easy to access, as they are the user intractable areas that need to be visible and easily accessible. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. TP-Link, AC1900. On some levels TP-Link is a bit like Billion, which is no bad thing. Affordable devices, great performance and a web UI that's built for tech enthusiasts, rather than the general public. Take its top-of-the-range 802. 11 ac modem router, the AC1900 rated D9. Attractively designed, good performer, yet comes in at AU $259 in Australia and £159 in the UK, a good deal cheaper than its competitors. So are there any shortcuts taken certainly not an industrial design, the D9 comes in an attractive white and silver with three detachable antennas. You won't be able to wall mount a D9, it's meant for desk duty only. A series of status lights line the top, showing power, line sync, internet connectivity, 2. 4GHC, 5GHC, WPS and USB activity. There is a lonely, single light for LAN activity, which isn't great for diagnosing problems, given there's 4 gigabit Ethernet ports on the rear. Tech enthusiasts will love TP-Link's web interface, it's spartan and straightforward. Newbies may find it a bit overwhelming, especially as it pulls no punches on technical language, but this aside, it's all laid out in a fashion that makes sense, and is easy to find what information and settings you need. The D9 has the standard 4 gigabit Ethernet ports, a USB 3. Zero port on the rear and a USB 2. Zero port on the side. It has physical buttons for both power and Wi-Fi on-off. Despite the huge menu on the left, the D9's options are fairly standard for a router of this class, the major standout feature being VLAN support. Otherwise the expected firewall, single 2. 4GHC guest network support, port forwarding, wireless and DSL settings are here. Dynamic and support is included, but only includes DINs. Org and no IP as service providers. Parental control is restricted to a time scheduled Mac assigned URL with list, add no URLs, and the associated client will effectively be cut off from the internet. 
Unlike the lower tier Archer D7, the D9 doesn't tell you this in the interface, leaving you to find out for yourself. And number 1 of this list. Netgear Nighthawk Pro. For online gamers, bandwidth can be just as important as graphics performance, but not all routers offer the kind of settings necessary to optimize your gaming experience. Enter the Netgear Nighthawk Pro Gaming XR500, a slick-looking AC2600 dual-band router that will help you prioritize network traffic and let you monitor things like latency and bandwidth, memory, and CPU usage, using a specially designed gamer-centric operating system. The XR500 performed admirably on our close-range throughput tests, but its long-range throughput was slower than what we saw with our top pick for mid-range routers, the Asus RTAC86U. The angular design and fancy grillwork on the XR500 leave little doubt that this router is meant for gaming. The black enclosure measures 2. 2 by 12. 7 by 9. 6 inches and has a series of LED status indicators along the front edge for power, internet, both Wi-Fi bands, guest Wi-Fi, both USB ports, and 4 LAN ports. The top of the router has a Wi-Fi on-off button and a WPS button, and there are two USB 3.0 ports on the left side. Around back are 4 gigabit LAN ports and a WAN port, a switch that turns the LED indicators on and off, a reset button, a power button, and a power jack. It has 4 adjustable removable antennas and is powered by a 1.7 GHZ dual-core processor, 256 MB of flash memory, and 512 MB of RAM. The XR500 is a 4x4 router capable of speeds of up to 800 megabits per second on the 2. 4 GHZ band and 1733 GHZ on the 5 GHZ band. It supports multi-user multiple input multiple output data streaming, which delivers data to MUMIMO compatible clients simultaneously, rather than sequentially, and beamforming, which allows the router to send data directly to clients, rather than over a broad spectrum. As with the Nighthawk X1080 7200 Smart Wi-Fi router and the Lynx's WRT32X Wi-Fi gaming router, the XR500 supports 160 MHz Wi-Fi, which doubles the 80 MHz channel width on the 5GHC band, to achieve faster throughput speeds. The XR500 is the first Netgear router to use Dumaus, an interactive gamer-friendly operating system developed by Netduma, with a focus on bandwidth allocation, resource monitoring, and network prioritization. The Dumaus dashboard lets you see what is going on with your network with a single glance. It contains graphs showing real-time CPU and bandwidth usage, currently installed apps, guest networking status, Wi-Fi status, and internet status. Off to the left is a menu system with GeoFilter, COS, Device Manager, Network Monitor, System Information, and Settings tabs. I have included this product links in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a like and share with your friends.